on this auspicious occasion, we have today a special brief video for you. You might all be aware of the recently held Business Line Changemaker Awards 2023. I'm elated to you that one of ThinkAg members, Stellabs, has won the Digital Transformation Award in this. We have with us today the co-founder and CEO of Stellabs, Mr. Ranjit Mukundan, joining in to share his experience of having won the prestigious award and also giving out a special message for the larger Indian AgTech ecosystem. The brief chat will be facilitated by Shri Kuldeep Sharma, founder, Suruchi Consultants, NRP Dairy at FSS AI, and Senior Fellow, Food Future Foundation. With this background, I would like to hand it over to both of you. Thank you. First of all, Ranjit ji, a big congratulations to you. Thank you so much. On uh, receiving this Digital Transformation Award at Business Line Change Maker Awards 2023. Talking about startups, in slightly over a decade's time, it has created presence in 17 states, 42,000 villages, working with around 3.65 million farmers and providing tech support for almost 10% of total milk procured in organized sector. Its technology has also helped in improving cattle productivity by 39%. So today, it's a privilege to talk with you, Ranjit ji. I can tell you that I always regard you as a pioneer in digitizing the dairy value chain in India. Uh, this is not a first award for Stalops, but it is a special one. So what does this award mean to Stalops and the AgTech ecosystem? Ranjit ji, please. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for that introduction and the kind words, uh, Kuldeep ji and Abhijit. Uh, this award and the recognition is an acknowledgement of the fact that digitization is an imperative. It's no more an after, but an imperative. If to solve for productivity, quality and traceability in the dairy value chain, in the ag value chain at scale. Given the extremely fragmented nature of our ag value chain and the fact that the emerging consumers like you and I need quality and traceability as a fundamental component of the food we eat, the only way to solve this at scale is via digitization and deep tech interventions. And when I say deep tech interventions, it's a combination of hardware, software, data and analytics and not just an app on a smartphone. So this award and recognition is a clear vindication of the fact that these tech interventions are much needed if we are to solve for productivity, quality, and traceability in the in the dairy value chain specifically and in the ag value chain broadly. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, normally it is said that overnight success takes 15 years. But in your case, it is happening much earlier. You know, all of us would like to know what actually made it happen. Well, again, uh, th thanks for the kind words. As I said, <clears throat> so a long way to go. Uh, we're still scratching the surface here. And thanks for all the guidance that we've been receiving from folks like you, ThinkAg, and the rest of the ecosystem. Um, we believe it's still sort of day one and a lot more needs to be done. A um, lot more work is, needs to be done. But that said, we are here today after nearly 13 years of existence uh, and, and our tech deployments with our tech deployments in over 42,000 villages across India, spanning 17 states with over 3.5 million farmers on our platform. This is a result of many stakeholders supporting us all through the journey. I would like to call out as many of them now. Uh, again, I must humbly say that this would not have been possible without each and every of the stakeholders supporting us, guiding us, and uh, you know, being the wind beneath our wings, as I oftentimes call it. So these stakeholders, right. primarily the 750 employees of Stellabs, who are with us today and who have also been with us in the past supporting us. 3.5 million farmers who believe in our digital connect and the services that we offer which includes milk procurement, financial services, dairy inputs, agri inputs, digital payments, insurance, and a whole slew of others. Our investors, 
Uh, capital is an important component of solving the problem at scale. So investors and debtors play a very important role, including IT Madras Incubation Cell, Omnivore, Celesta, ABP, Qualcomm, Bloom, Bnext, Bini Bansal, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Nutreco, IDH Farm Fit Fund, 500 Startups, and many other friends and angels who supported us when we started. This also includes new age debtors like Stride, Samunati, Avanti, Vibriti, Nadanak, Sidbi, Oiko Credit. And who can forget my co-founders, Ravi, Adkuri, Praveen, Venkat, uh, without whom I do not exist. And the leadership team, uh, Umesh, Manoj, Kirti, Kedar, Rahul, Yavar, Venki. Our advisors and ecosystem platforms, such as the Thinkag ecosystem, the Suruchi ecosystem, and all of you here, have played a really important role in nurturing us, uh, helping us, guiding us. So all of these stakeholders is what has made it happen. And as I said, still a long way to go. Uh, we are, you know, we are just just about, um, you know, uh, making it. Uh, so hope to receive continued support from all of you. Thanks. Thanks for your kind words for all the all the partners that way and the team in one of my blog i use the title that when the past becomes the present then you lose the future but in your case as i could see that stellops has coded the language to write digital future of indian daring so my question to you is what next you know what does the future entail for digitization of actech from this point onward i believe that the tech interventions will only get more and more pivotal as we scale and solve for productivity, quality, and traceability. Of course, with newer technologies such as generative AI seeping into every realm of our life today, it will find its fitment in the ag and dairy value chain as well. And hopefully, what all of this means is that we are able to raise farm incomes and farm throughputs by an order of magnitude in a, in a much more expeditious manner, which is the cornerstone of regenerative, sustainable agriculture. We have reduced about 25,000 metric tons of carbon in our dairy value chain. And we hope to first reduce this by about 2 lakh metric tons of carbon in the dairy value chain in the next 24 months. This would only be possible with tech and digitization at the core and not as an afterthought. So hope this journey can continue with tech and digitization at its core. Wonderful, wonderful. What a uh, what an envision of future you are having, uh, covering traceability, inclusion, environment, and above all, you know, carrying Ma Lakshmi to those millions of farmers there in the hinterland of India. So on this, thank you very much, Ranjit Ji, for your sharing and insights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh,